Today we're going to demonstrate to you the uh, FS5000 spy transceiver HF uh, shortwave spy transceiver that was used in the uh, 80s developed in the 80s and to be used in the 90s but because of the end of the Cold War uh, that never happened the FS5000 was developed by Telefunken uh, Deutsche Aerospace West German company and many of them were intended to, to be used for uh, Gladio, that is the uh, stay back, stay behind army. In case of a Russian occupation, this stuff would be used behind enemy, uh, enemy lines. And uh, they also were sold to the CIA. That's where this particular one comes from. The ones in the US were surplus here locally. Uh, the decryption unit, the encryption unit, obviously was removed for obvious reasons. For the rest, it's all there, brand new in the box. And today we're going to unpack it and uh, show you how it all fits together. This is the insect, the inside of the small boxes. These are two uh, uh, NiCad batteries uh, that are used for the system. This is an accessory box, dummy load interconnect bar, power supply cord, AC power supply cord. This is the receiver module. Let's now open the big boxes. Alright, this is the uh, antenna tuner. See it's heavily padded boxes. This is the power supply, the AC power supply. This is the uh, charger unit. And this is the transmitter module with the uh, interconnect brackets to hold it all together once it's plugged uh, plugged into each other. Well, we're going to show you that next. All right, here we have everything taken out of the boxes, but still in plastic. Batteries, receiver, dummy load, interconnect bar. This is a uh, power cord. It has a uh, European plug on it. But the power supply can handle both 110 volts as well as 220 volts AC. This is the uh, transmitter. This is the power supply uh, charger. Charger. This is the uh, actual AC power supply. This is the antenna tuner. We'll go on here. Here we have the uh, accessory box. It's the only one that wasn't in plastic, but it's in this big. Um, foam kind of carrier and here is the uh, insides Let's see if those uh, the batteries are still any good if I can get them out let's get a meter and check that okay this is the uh, battery it's a little bit difficult with one hand and we get 3.67 volts from our lithium uh, battery. As you can see, they're still good. This battery is used for the uh, memory backup in the uh, in the controller. So that battery is still okay. All right, let's uh, do some more unpacking and assemble it all together, so you can see how all these. Uh, modules come together. Here I have separated the power supply unit from the transmitter uh, uh, unit. The, uh, like I said, the top unit comes off. This is the actual AC power supply. And that then passes DC to this uh, power conditioner slash charger. Here we see the uh, that is a little bit stuck. The uh, like I said, antenna tuner plus the uh, actual transmitter. Had to use both hands to remove that. This is the uh, antenna tuner, automatic antenna tuner. And this is the actual transmitter. You see it's a completely modular system. When it's all put together, it basically fits in a diplomat case, attaché case, 
that could be uh, carried and uh, was not prone to inspection because of diplomatic immunity I guess it was specially made to fit in that here I have assembled uh, all the modules uh, this is the uh, this is the accessory box that you saw antenna uh, spare batteries for backup memory backup and uh, all kind of other uh, accessories now this is the uh, power supply charger comes off actually we got to take that off first this is the first battery this is the second battery they're parallel 14.4 volt batteries this is the uh, receiver module that also can work standalone I'll show you that in a minute receiver module you use a standalone on off switch bandwidth switch this is the frequency display on off buttons here you see the transmitter this is a transmitter, this is the antenna tuner this is where you would hook up a wire antenna radius 40 watts peak and this is the uh, power supply the, actually this is the power supply, AC power supply with 110 volts or 240 volts auto switching and underneath is the uh, charger slash uh, power conditioner you can also hook it up to an external 12 volt uh, uh, DC source in case there is no uh, AC available and this uh, plugs into that module as you can see here we have uh, an artificial load for the battery this can discharge the battery and see how much uh, charge is left in there this is the H bar which can be used to charge the battery individually or uh, power the uh, standalone receiver with one or two batteries actually one battery you will see that uh, later that's uh, basically uh, the gist of it here is one of the uh, boxes that I showed you as you see it's all padded it's very uh, rugged transport cases each module has its individual uh, shipping box this is the uh, spy radio FS 5000 made by Telefunken which was uh, acquired by Deutsche Aerospace